I'm Rachel Moore and right now on your 13 Action News update, a miles long chase ended in a Las Vegas neighborhood less than 24 hours ago. This is video sent to us by a viewer, Ricky Ulbrich, who saw the chase unfold. Now police finally arrested the man they say led them on this chase near Tanea and Vegas Drive. The Nye County Sheriff's Office says they were called to help with the chase that started near Goldfield. That's more than 177 miles away. Several law enforcement agencies joined in to catch the driver. He's been identified as a 22 year old man from Phoenix. This morning, it's not clear on how the chase began. And over the past couple of months, law enforcement has been cracking down on illegal street racing. Metro and North Las Vegas police conducted a special traffic enforcement detail over the weekend. Police say they made 116 traffic stops for several violations, including DUI, probation violations, reckless driving and running red lights. Justin. Rachel, thank you. We are anticipating some wind in the forecast this morning. North gust of oh, 15 to 20 miles per hour actually gives us a wind chill value in the 30s. So do bundle up. Uh, the big wind arrives Friday afternoon into Friday evening. We're thinking gusts past 30 miles per hour here in the valley. Still fairly breezy on Saturday. Now breezes aside, uh, we've got a lot of sunshine in your Thursday forecast. Yes, we start off pretty chilly, but we end up around 61 down to 41 tonight, 61 on Friday, but again, Friday afternoon, quite windy, still fairly breezy throughout your Saturday, but Sunday looks calm and we'll have sunshine and highs near 60 through the weekend. Justin, thank you. And that was your 13 action news update. You can find more on our website at KTMB.com.